guys we are live welcome back everybody welcome back to blue-eyed wolf princess's channel it's me blue-eyed wolf princess today we're going to be starting a brand new sins challenge today we are going to be starting the rags to riches challenge i saw this on a few of other fellow streamers channels as well as on the sims forum so we're going to give it a shot i just downloaded the outdoors retreat expansion pack to give us a little bit of an edge we're going to start off a little bit in a different way, we'll start off at zero money and work our way up. So those of you who don't know the Rags to Riches Challenge is exactly that. We're going to start with literally nothing and try and build our way off the land and make as much money as possible and survive. So let's see how we go. Let's get going with the Sims. Alright, so I'm going to make this probably as hard on myself as possible here. We're going to live... A little creek here. We're gonna start with a brand new sim and a brand new plot of land. We're gonna literally start with nothing. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna start Potter's Play and we're gonna do create a sim. Quimbo Regenu. So I'm gonna start with the female sim just because I am a female and I just how I work. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me guys let me know guys if you come up with a name or what you think. If any, if I should dress them a certain way, if you guys think certain things would be better, let me know. But we're starting from complete scratch here. So let's start with an aspiration. Start with nature, because we are going rags to riches here. Angling ace, collect, or excuse me, cur curator, collect everything. F botanist or outdoor enthusiast, with everything nature has to offer. These, I feel like, would definitely give us a leg up in the Rags to Riches challenge. So we're going to start with this new Outdoor Enthusiast challenge here. Let's see here. We're going to start. So let's see with some traits. We're going to help. Oh, we have the Squeamish trait. That's new. These And the Child of the Islands are new traits that I haven't had before. They must have come with the Island Living. So we're going to start with Loving Outdoors. We're going to make this oh, as easy on ourselves as possible oh, oh, oh. for now. We may change these traits later. We'll see how it goes. Let's see what else we have here. Let's make her good. Tuga. And let's see here. What else do we have here? Yeah, we're just going to pick a random trait here. Let's go with Self-Assured. Oh, That's always a good trait to have. <laughs> So let's go ahead and start with our appearance. Let's check out the hair. I always like to go for the hair first. Let's see what we got here. What's new? I like this braid. We're probably just gonna end up making her look like Unless you guys have another opinion on what kind of style you would like, let me know, because otherwise I always go to the basics on just making the Sims look like me. Unless we see something really crazy that we're just dying to try. So we've got our vampire packs here. We've got this nice little braid here. But she is going to be living outdoors and living off the land. So we have to keep that in mind. Oh. Let's see here. This is the new island living pack here. The flowers. Very poofy ponytail. We've got some fun new colors though. I think we're gonna go back to that braid here. It looks like looks like this one came from the spa package actually. It's not the outdoor living or the island living. So we'll start off with the braid and kind of go from there. Let's go to our face here. Let's change how we look a little bit. We got some wide eyes. Just kind of play it around a little bit here. Mm -hmm. That one looks okay. I don't know, I'm a fan for the. I'm a fan of that one though. <laughs> She's got a really large smile. Let's see, skin traits. We've got blemishes, wrinkles, freckles. I like the freckles. Do we need a hat? Let's not. 
Maybe not for our everyday look. That looks interesting here. I think it's a, is that a scuba mask? Helmets, our Star Wars looks, a robot. So we'll come back to the hats maybe with a different look here. We're just gonna go with everyday for now. She's not gonna need earrings living in this world today. She's not gonna need a whole lot of makeup. We'll give her a little bit just to start because what girl doesn't like to have makeup? But we're not gonna give her anything hmm. too crazy. Since we're living off the land, she's gonna have nothing in reality she wouldn't be able to afford much makeup. So let's do a shirt with maybe a jacket, sweatshirt, suits, hmm. polos. Let's try jacket. Let's see here. are a little uh -huh. too fashionable for the outdoors. Let's try t-shirts. We've got our mermaid seashell and coconut bras down here. Those are new. So I don't want her to be too plain because that'll get boring. I, I like this one. We I've used this one on my other sim from our perfect sim challenge. This is honestly probably one of my favorite tops in the game. Just because it's got a wolf on the front. Go, go figure, right? Let's see. So we've got the gray. This one's green. Let's go with that one and we'll give her hopefully some tactical pants, some outdoor pants here. We got some cargo pants here. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. It's like a Capri cargo pant. Oh, this did come with the outdoor pack. Let me see if we can change these a little bit. Pull in that nice brown. And we'll get her some hiking shoes here. So footwear. Let's let's look at the boots first. There we go. Hmm. My hiking shoes actually have a little bit of pink on them. They're not super. They're not super girly, but they're not super fancy either. I like the dark colors, and it actually it almost looks like she has socks on already. See if we can get her some socks. We'll just go with the plain socks, which you can't even see them, so that's okay. So we'll get rid of the necklace here. She doesn't need that in the wilderness. She won't need the ring. Bracelet gloves. Where is our necklace? Is it in this section here? Where am I? Yes, there it is. Let's get rid of that. We can give her a watch, though. A watch might be beneficial. Ooh. Let's see. We have the spa watch. So we'll start her off with the watch. Very basic watch. She doesn't need anything fancy. All right, so here we have our everyday look. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. If you think I should change anything here, I think this is our good basic outdoors. We're going camping. Oh. We're living off the land kind of look. So we'll move on. She's not gonna need a real formal wear, though. I would not put those shoes with that dress. That looks. Ugh. Let's no. Let's move on. <laughs> we'll get rid of this. We'll put one in here for fun, but she's probably not going to be going anywhere formal anytime soon. So I'm just going to go probably off a stylized look. All right, cold weather. Last one, guys, and then we will give her a name and we'll get to playing the game. So she looks like she's about to go skiing actually right now, which for the winter, it's honestly a great time to go. Let's see, what do we have in this style? Oh. That one definitely looks like a ski suit. Let's oh, see what we can change about these. Zanks. There's a red, a blue, bright yellow. Oh, let's go red. And let's see, we'll change it up a little bit. We'll get rid of a hat. I don't like that hat. Let's get her a different one. Brimmed, brimless baseball. The beanie's okay. 
change your hair maybe get rid of the glasses give her her long hair back it's cold we'll bring the hair down keep her neck warm since we don't have any scarves right now gloves are fine I think those are okay all right guys what should we name her and let me know if any guy if you guys think we should change anything if you don't like the colors if she should have crazy green hair let me know let's see you know, we'll do a little bit of a tribute here with our last name we'll go I know you guys can't see it up here I know I want to do a tribute with the last name with everything going on in Australia right now we'll go with the last name of Irwin it'll help go with living off the land kind of vibe I like Emily we'll go with Emily Irwin of our let's see let's do one of our other looks here we can give her maybe like a two-tone I know there's some hairs in here with different colors whoa that's purple let's see that one's kind of fun there we have a fun summer hair for our beach look but we're not going to remember she's living off the land. She doesn't have any money, so she can't keep up that dye job in real life. So we'll go. All right, guys, let's get into the game with Emily Irwin. Oh, gosh. I forgot that's going to change her hair for the whole game. Hang on. Backtrack here. This one's a little bit more blue than it is purple, but we still have some fun hair for the swimsuit. So we'll go and we'll get into the game here with Miss Emily. All right, so we're moving in an empty lot. We are gonna change these funds in a little bit after we get the basics going. We're gonna get a tent, we're gonna get a campfire, and I think maybe like a bush or something so she can go to the bathroom, but we're gonna go from there. We'll start off the land. We're gonna start with nothing. So we'll change those funds in just a little bit here. All right, so here we are at, excuse me guys. I forgot what it was called. I think it's Potter's Bay is what it was. Let's take a look and see what we got. We are right by our river. We have a great spot to fish. We have a little bench. We are right next to, it looks like a little bit of a park here. We've there are puppet grills, some picnic tables, and then we have our neighbors behind us who have snow on their palm trees. We have the other side of the river. Whose house is this? All decorated. Their little garden. We're surrounded by lots of water, so we should be able to do a lot of fishing and foraging over here. All right, we're gonna start. We need a tent. Oops. All right, so remember, she's not gonna have much money. It's just the basic. We Maybe eventually we can upgrade to this bigger tent, but we're gonna start with the small one. See, there's a cheetah prints. There's two different cheetah prints. There's some fun green, red, white. What color tint, guys? Purple? Purple cheetah print, or should we go with the pink? What is this? So there's the pink camo, and then there's the purple cheetah. We'll go with purple. We'll just stick it a little back here, a little bit of ways from the street. All right, so now we need I just need to look at, let's see if we can change this here. Let's see what came with our outdoor retreat. Let's see, it came with a cooler. So we have a 450 and a 475 as far as a campfire. So we'll have to go with the cheaper one. We we'll started with the campfire a little ways away from the tent. And then I know there's a bush that I got through my garden pack that she could use for the bathroom. There's not one through Outdoor Retreat though. So we're just gonna start. We can get Duty Calls, which is 290, or Anything Goes, which is 370. So we'll do Duty Calls, because it's cheaper. Oh look, it's frosted. And we'll set this a little ways away, because it's gonna get pretty stinky. All right, so we have our place to sleep and retreat. We have our fire, and we have a place to go to the bathroom. We'll give her a chair, how about that? cheapest chair we have a $50 and a bunch of 50s or two 50s we just need like a little is there like a stool maybe yeah, 
Let's see what outdoor retreats got. There's a little tree chair. A log. We give her a log. Here, there's a stump. Here we go. There's a stump, chair, a hard place. It looks literally like a rock or an iceberg. A folding chair, another kind of log, some camping chairs. Let's just start her off with a log or a stump. Let's see. All right. All right, guys, let's get playing here. All right, we're here. We'll pull up our needs right now are good. So we'll probably start off with the foraging, but first we'll turn our cheats on. Cheats are enabled. All right. So I believe it's money zero. All right, guys, there it is. It's gone. So we'll get rid of that little window. I know it doesn't bother you guys too much. You all can't see it, but we're here. Let's begin the challenge. Here we go. All right, so let's get first, let's plan. It's four o'clock, let's, let's go fishing. Let's plan for dinner, we'll plan ahead here. So we love the outdoors. We're gonna get a little bit of a boost from our outdoor trait. And we just acquired the fishing skill. I would really hope so. So we'll have to fish and let's look around. What is this? Just some moss on the ground? Now well, we can dig that up. See what's in there. Let's see. Let's not rummage in the trash just yet. We'll wait till our hygiene's down. Let's see, we have a rose bush in our backyard. Let's see, what else we got? There's another spot to dig. Where else can we forage? What's this? Another rose bush. And an onion plant. We can look at the onion plant maybe. Oh look, there's a boy scout walking or a girl scout walking around. Oh look, we caught a bass. Awesome, worth $21. Well, we'll save that for dinner. But if we get any more, we can start, maybe we can sell it and start getting some money. It's too bad our neighbor doesn't have like an open garden. We could just sneak in and take like a little snack. That's okay, we'll start our own garden. We'll get, we'll get there, we'll get there. All right, so there's a lot of like little Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts walking around. I think that's funny. I don't know if that's because of the outdoors tree or if that's just a fun coincidence that we're doing this challenge and they're walking around. They're like, ha, this girl is trying to do this challenge and she's gonna fail horribly. That looks like a frozen hunk of mush. Yeah, we don't want that. The fish are too crafty for Emily. Let's try elsewhere. So we'll start with our foraging now. Let's we'll follow her this way. Let's see what we got digging up in our yard here. A limestone. So there's our rose bush. That one's right in our backyard, so I'll be able to remember that one. Let's see. We might have to speed this along here. Mm -hmm. Upgrade parts. We can save those and sell those. Looks like Lucas wants to come and chat with us. Do we want to chat right now, Lucas? Oh, look, there's frogs. Uh-huh. Checking out the... I think this is an onion plant. Yep. Oh. This is a wild onion plant. Well, gee, thank you. Thanks for the observation. It's a lot harder to find things in the snow. I noticed that I'm, like, glancing right past them on the first go-around. But I'm seeing them now that I'm closer, so hopefully that helps. Oh, we don't have any lights. I forgot about that. It's okay, we've got the campfire. That'll be good. So let's head back. Self-assured Sims with this trait feel good about themselves often and experience extra confidence. So we're confident now. Let's go ahead, we'll light our fire and we'll start cooking our bass from today. 
on our frosted little stump here. Bam, magic. It's that easy to start a fire, guys. Let's roast. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Roast roasted fish. We acquired oh. the cooking skill. I know you're hungry. Oh, you're in the middle of cooking, so... huh? The higher the skill, the more recipes you have unlocked. Here we go. Roasted fish. Mm. Excellent quality. So we're self-assured right now. We're cozy near the campfire, and we are loving the fresh air. And it looks like our fire is dying a little bit. That's okay, because we're going to go back inside in a little bit. So eventually we can play the guitar, looks like. Let's see, beetles? We don't have any beetles. We don't have any fish. It says marshmallows, hot dogs, and veggie dogs, but it doesn't say that it costs any money. I don't know if that's cheating or not, though. Let me know if you guys think that's cheating. Uh -huh. Branca. But if we're desperate, it's there. Extinguish. We could play in the fire. That sounds like a great idea. All right. So she's got to go and put down her plates. We're just right there. It blends in with the snow. We'll go to the bathroom like a champion. Pee like a champion, guys. She won't be feeling like a champion after long. Yeah, it's okay. No one's looking. It's fine. Listen to that. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. And let's go ahead and wrap it in for the night. We'll put out the fire. And let's see. We'll go ahead and go to sleep. Can we get anything if we sell the plate? No. It just disappeared. Nope, no, it is. There it is. So not too bad of a half first day. Alright, so she's awake. And she's needing a little bit of social. So what we can do is we can walk around and see who's about. Or we can go to the park. Let's see here. I don't think we are actually right on the park. I think this is just our little common area. So let's go ahead and travel. We're gonna pretend that we don't actually have this phone. This is just, I can't get rid of it in The Sims. It's just how The Sim works. Happy New Year. All right, so we are here. So we're gonna jump across town to the park. We're gonna go meet some people, get her social up and do a little bit more foraging. See, I don't know if anything's growing right now because we started in winter, so that might be a little bit harder. It's all right. So we can also play some chess to get her fun up. We'll just start that just so she has something to do while we look around here. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's go fishing instead so we can get something to eat for later today. Can we call someone over to come chat with us? Oh, we can't call them over. Here, invite Finn fishing. Let's see if he'll come, come fish with us. Nope, no, he's just gonna disappear instead. We call it a guppy. So we have two fish now. So we'll fast forward through this fishing a little bit, see if we catch anything else. We got a cow plant. I know we can play with them for interaction. I don't think we get anything for it. Gosh, what do, how do you say that? Kikilid? Kachilid? It's a striped fish. We got the striped fish. We've gotten some good fishing this round, guys. We're doing good. And look, let's just invite him to come fishing with us. We got a koi fish. We're doing good. And it looks like he's gonna come fish with us so we can get some social. Do 
if she gets something and then maybe I can go over and talk. Hey, looks like a trout. Bam, look at me, I know my fish, it's a trout. All right, so let's cancel these for a second and let's go meet Juan. Fishing level three. You can examine the water near fishing spots to study the fish movements and identify the fish. Emily can now catch fish using fish traps in the ocean water. Emily can now catch mahi mahi. Good sims are happy when around. Good sims are happy when others around them are happy and seek to improve the world. And we caught a log, guys. So let's go meet one. Looks like he caught a time capsule. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, hey guys, look. It's our sim from our perfect sim challenge here. We're gonna leave her. Well, we can socialize with her, I guess. It's kind of a. I don't know, it's like a parallel universe a little bit here. I told you I make my sims look like me, I'm sorry. So if we need to change her hair or something, we can. We can just say that blonde's not her color. Our manners went down for something here. So our social's going up a little bit. And it's almost lunchtime, so if we're lucky, someone will grill some food. And we can maybe steal a plate. Oh gosh, Woo! what was that? <laughs> okay, are we gonna do it too? We're gonna blow a horn. Hello, who are you? You just took my chair. So, hey, bud, you took my chair. Do you want to move? Chibina. Let's do. Let me use a toast and see if we can get one of these out here. Oh, wanna beige. Uh, who is this? Uh, Makoya. Makoya is bored with our conversation, guys. <laughs> We're not very entertaining, apparently. <sighs> well, have a New Year's Eve toast with me. No? Let's send her to the bathroom. There's also a sink here we can get our hygiene up, guys. We don't have to break down and just shower in the rain. Narb. This guy's poor guy's still fishing. We just doomed him to fish forever. Sorry, Juan. We never even got to introduce ourselves to you. And we're starting to stink, guys. So we'll just wash our hands a little bit here. Brush your teeth. Wash your hands some more. Get our hygiene back up. And we'll go do some foraging. See if we can find something. Oh, look! Food! Can I steal it? Can I take it? It's hot cocoa! Drop the frogs! Forget the frog! Get the hot cocoa! We got limestone. Hurry, Emily! Get the cocoa! Hurry! Before someone takes it! Yes! It looks like it was almost yeah, empty, but hey, it's better than nothing, guys. How many days of winter do we have left? Because it's not going to be very fun. Let's see. Oh, we're almost done. So we're going into spring soon. So things should start to grow, which should help us out. Oh, that's a strawberry bush. Huh. Let's see what we got. Another ruby. A peach. A peach crystal. A peach crystal. Looks like someone's coming Ooh, to talk to us. We have Morgan, who is in a flirty mood. And we just got a hypno frog. We've got all the frogs, guys. But I don't think... I know you can breed frogs here, but I don't think we have any of the same breed frog with... Yeah, we, it looks like we can breed, even if it's not the same breed. Which is good to know. 
Now, I know from other challenges that people have done, there are yard sale tables. I'm not sure what expansion pack they come with, though, and I'm, I feel like it's the City Living pack, which I don't have. So I don't have the yards. If that's true, I don't have the yard sale table. Oh. So, well, I just have to sell things the old-fashioned way through our inventory. There's a guy. Look, there's food. Eat the pizza. Eat the pizza. Go. Go eat the pizza. Yes. We're just the crazy homeless lady that likes to hang out by the... and steal people's food. But we're like... Well, I guess it's open. She can still see us. We can sit around back where she can see us, maybe. And he just walked away from the food. Put in the sack lunch. This is the way to do it, guys. Just hang out at the vendors and let people walk away from their own food. I'll take it. Thank you. And I'm just going to drop it on the floor. Put an inventory. We'll take that home with us. All right, so let's go ahead and head home because it's getting dark. And let's do some recon. Let's see what we got today, what we can sell. We'll breed some frogs, maybe sell some frogs. We can sell our crystals, our rocks that we got. So we'll go, let's light our fire and we'll sit. All right, let's see what we got. Ah. We'll just have her chill for a little bit. So we can sell our crystal. We'll keep the fish, because we're gonna need the fish. We have two rubies we can sell for $30 each. Should we sell the upgrade parts, or should we? We got a fossilized sea monster, and a prehistoric hoof print. from those limestones. So let's check out the frogs here. Breed frog with, wait, what kind of frog was that? Hypno frog, let's breed the hypno frog. Let's go with tiger frog. Emily has bred a new frog. Tiger frog. Two hypno frogs, where's our new one? Dirt surfer, eggplants, striped heart frog. Is that our new one? Whirly flower frog. That's kind of cool. Maybe we can put our frogs out. Well, they. I, I hope they don't freeze. Yeah, there's a pink one, orange, brown, bluish, purple. Yeah, they're like croaking. You can't hear them, but you can see them. So let's go ahead and sell these. We don't need them right now. We'll sell the egg fossils. $50. We'll keep the fish. All right, so let's get her a trash can and maybe a cooler so that these fish don't go bad. We'll put her right over here so she can get rid of that and let's see if we can get a cooler. We can get a cooler, guys. Chillville Portable Cooler. It's afford affordable cooler that's guaranteed to keep your food cold and preserved during our outings. Cool. So let's go ahead and get a cooler so that we can put our fish and our fish won't go bad. So we'll have her go throw away that plate. And let's see. Wait, can we not put anything in it, guys? No. I don't think we can put anything in here. But we can get quick meals out of it, which is good. That'll help, because quick meals are free. So maybe we'll keep it. I know there's a cooler that you can open. I think it's in, like, the kids section, though. So our fire is out, so let's just go ahead and go to bed. Go ahead and save for another night. Day two, 
survived and we've got a $90 profit, guys. We got several frogs in our collection. We have a new trash can and we got a cooler. So we're doing okay. And the snow is gone. New Year's Eve was awful. It's okay. We That's fine. We didn't care anyway. The snow is gone. The grass is back. We've got our first day of spring and tons of mud puddles. And she's got to go to the bathroom. So let's fertilize this bush here. And I don't know if we can light the fire if it's raining, guys. But I think we can shower in the rain. Let's come over here behind our tent and we'll take a shower. And then let's see if we can light our fire in the rain. If not, we may have to spend our $90 and build like a little shelter above it. We're just gonna sing too. We're gonna draw all the attention, guys. All the attention. Bambosa, bambosa. The rose bush is going still. Oh, we got some mushrooms over here we can take. We'll, and some strawberries. Guys, after this, here. Well, let's see if we can light our fire. Let's go ahead and roast our fish. Looks like we can sit on the cooler, too. I think our fire died a little bit. It did. Crap. Let's see. Did that burn our fish? Is it gone? Our quality is poor on all of our stuff because it's been in our pocket. But we can eat our pizza. Let's eat the pizza we took. No, it's smelly, guys. Oh. Oh. It went bad. Oh. That plan backfired. Oh. 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 That wasn't even in the mud puddle. That was, like, beyond the mud puddle. We thought we were safe. Well, it's okay. There's some strawberries over here we can harvest. That's we got strawberries. We got, let's get some mushrooms. See, there's more mushrooms over here. I saw something else glowing over here somewhere. More strawberries. It's okay, we got this. So let's go ahead and eat some mushrooms. And then we'll go start our garden. Ironium. Let's do another one. So I know you can get your... Welcome to the neighborhood! <laughs> Thanks, guys! I guess we'll go ahead and we'll greet our new neighbor. Let's invite them into this invisible house that we have here. The Samba! Thank you for coming. Bale, who's a chuva? <laughs> go we'll greet the new neighbors. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sure, come on in. Bring your wife over. <laughs> so all. Oh, are they just gonna flirt in front of us, or are they gonna? Also, like, what was the point of coming over? So while that's going on, we're gonna go ahead and we'll start our garden. I think it's over here. It's not too far away. We'll start a few bushes just so that we can get going. Okay, how come he can get the fire to go in the rain, but I can't? Come on, Sims. What's that about? What'd you do with the fruitcake, girl? Give me that fruitcake. Maybe I need a table. Let's see if we sell... Whatever this is. It's $80 open the time capsule too. Well, no. If we get a little Lombard. table, maybe she'll put the fruitcake down. Lombard. Let's get a little table.
We got the pack cube. It looks like you can put stuff in it. Design the store's extra camping supplies without sacrificing the strength and eating surface. Is it worth it, guys? Should we try it? Let's do... Let's get the table, guys. I really hope you can store things in it. I don't want to put it in my inventory. I can put stuff on it, though. Let's see if she'll put the fruitcake down now. Let's put the cow plant by the street so that if it does eat somebody, hopefully it's just a, a passerby. Yeah, my Sims trophy. DJ candy for $20. We're just going to sell that. We don't need to collect those. We got $100 for name, guys. We've got six frogs. We've acquired... We have not acquired fruitcake, but she's trying, though. We've acquired this new table, this new cooler that does not let us store anything, which I think is stupid. A trash can, and we've got a little garden going. Honestly, we could probably plant more. I would love to have some variety, though. It just might be... T it might be a little while before we get the variety going. But survival comes first. We gotta survive before we can make money. So she's doing good. We'll zoom. Let's see if she ever puts that group cake down. Let's clean up our bowl, girl. We may live outside, but we don't leave a mess. Oh. That was actually in the puddle this time. And now our hygiene's down, guys. So maybe after all these guys go, we can shower in the rain again, assuming it's still raining. It is the spring. Oh, look at the cow plant, guys. Look, it's got little horns. It's like a little... It's like a little demon is coming out of the ground, guys. They really are demons. Like, they're fun, but... Aren't, aren't all demons fun? But it's weird. It's weird, guys. We should probably go. Welcome again. Bye, guys. Thanks. Welcome to my humble abode. With no walls. Thanks for thanks for the fruit cake, Eliza. It is Eliza, right? I don't even know. Maybe we can invest in getting her an umbrella soon, guys. It's kind of sad just seeing her walk around in the pouring rain with nothing. Just this whole thing said. Let's we need a backstory for her, guys. Let me know in the comments what her backstory should be. Like was she kicked out of her home? Was she something tragic happened and now she's on the street? Like what what help me think of a story, guys. But we're gonna leave this here. We will get back to you guys soon. We're gonna let's see. Emily, she's doing pretty good. So we've got a one hundred dollars to our name. We got a new cooler. We got a table. We've got six frogs, a trash can, and our own little farm is starting to grow. Everything's starting to sprout, and then we've got this little demon coming out of the ground here with the horns coming up. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am really glad you guys had fun, and I hope you guys tune in for the next episode of the Rags to Riches Challenge. Bye, guys.